Hello guys, it's me, Karen, your favorite booktuber, and I'm back with another video because we're talking about International Booker. The long list has 13 books. I plan on reading all of them. You will see 13 videos, God willing. Today we're going to be talking about Is Mother Dead by Vigdis Yorth, translated by Charlotte Barsland. This novel was interesting. This novel follows our narrator who happens to be a 60 year old artist who escaped from her home. Naturally, Is Mother Dead is about motherhood, the relationship between mother and child. What does it mean to be a mother? Can the child ever forget the mother? What does it mean if that bond was quite fraught? And how does the child, can the child move beyond? Is a child even capable of living without the burden of the mother on their shoulders? In this novel, our protagonist is a 60 year old artist who is returning back to Norway after spending most of her adult life in the US. She's a very accomplished artist, but that wasn't her intended path. Her parents really wanted her to be a lawyer, to follow in the family footsteps. And she was in law school, got married to the guy her parents wanted her to marry. And she has like her quarter life crisis and she runs away to the United States with her soon to be husband, a new guy. She doesn't have a very close relationship with her family. Her family basically cuts her off. They don't really talk to her. They only let her know major events. They let her know when her father gets really ill and he is hospitalized and when the funeral is, things like that, but they don't have a relationship. And when she returns to Oslo, she is consumed with thoughts about her mother. She is very obsessed. This is like, if you've ever wanted a text from someone or wanted to hear about a job and all you're doing is thinking about that and you can't think about anything else, like this is what this author is doing. She is obsessed with where her mother is, what her mother is thinking. Is her mother thinking about her right now? What is her mother feeling? What does her mother look like? They haven't seen each other at all. She has no idea what her mother looks like. And she finds her mother's phone number from this website that tells you people's phone numbers. And so she calls the number, her mother doesn't pick up. And so she's just consumed with, why didn't mother answer? Is my sister not letting her answer? Like what's going on? I need to get to the bottom of this. So then she starts to stalk her mother. You would think that like this would be an action packed novel, but it isn't. Nothing happens until page 238. So you're really gonna have to like buckle down, put your seatbelt on, put yourself on autopilot. Like nothing is happening until 238. Like literally nothing happens, even though our narrator is stalking her mother. She is going through her mother's garbage trying to pick out clues and figure things out. So there's like this slight undercurrent of a kind of a thriller vibe to the book, but this is like very low stakes. Like I don't want you to go into the book being like, yeah, this is a thriller. This is gonna be wild. I'm here for a thrill. It's not like that. However, it is very interesting. Thematically, I really loved this. I loved the exploration of who is the mother? What does the mother mean? There's this really great line where our narrator recognizes that she's being kind of crazy, but she calls herself, she refers to herself as a 60 year old child. Even as this protagonist is a 60 year old woman who has her own child and a grandson, she still yearns for her mother, even if their relationship was so fraught and so painful. You always want your mother. I would say as a reading process, this is quite easy to read. There are literally chapters that are just one sentence. So you can really fly through this. Um, you just have to bear in mind that nothing happens for the first 200 pages. Like if that could have been condensed a little bit, I think it would have done wonders for the text as a whole. And I would have to say that if you like, um, what this novel reminded me of was Death in Her Hands by Otessa Moshveg and Second Place by Rachel Cusk. If you liked either of those, I think you might gravitate towards this one. Um, but that does kind of sound, um, you might not have liked those books and you might like this one. So I think Death in Her Hands, that narrator who is a lonely older woman and who's like trying to figure out, get to the bottom of this mystery, 
reminds me of this narrator who's quite isolated. She goes back to her um, homeland after like 30 years and just isolates herself in a cabin or is stalking her mother. And then with second place, there were so many thematically, our narrator was really thinking about motherhood, her relationship to her daughter and um, was she a good mother and looking at how her daughter is changing and evolving, like that reminds me of this. Even though there, there's a possibility you probably dislike both of those books and you might not like this, or you could, in fact, like this one. There you are. Once you make it to page 238, things start to kick off. Then it takes an unexpected turn, and then we wrap up. So that's the book. Very brief, very quick. I think it's a very easy read. If you read it, I would love to hear what your thoughts are, what you thought of that ending, and if you're re planning on reading any other books, do you think that this is going to get shortlisted? I would love to hear your thoughts and thank you so much for watching.